Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit more today about this cold approach stuff that I've been touching on this last week here. I just want you guys out there, the males, that's who I'm talking to today, to just realize and actually be thankful and consider yourself lucky that you are on this end of the table in life and just in in uh, the regard of human nature, as I'm going to lay out for you today. I mean, you should be thankful that you're the one that has the power to do this or that you're you're more typically the 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 sex or the side of the the duality of of human existence that is tasked and enabled let's say and encouraged to to do this kind of stuff i know that this is like this is so scary for a lot of guys listening out there and i get it i i've been there i I, i've totally had many moments and years of timidness where you know you just refuse to do this stuff you don't think you can do this stuff unfortunately but we'll we'll come back and talk about this more and i want to help you guys out there work on this and get better at this i think this benefits not only men of course but it benefits women as well it benefits the the whole human race as i see it when we get more guys growing some courage or just you know living up to i, I think what nature more or less more or less designed us to do but I want to talk a little bit about this element of this this subject matter here that I, I started to to talk about in the beginning there, where it's like you know you you as men and males like you are the ones that are that are responsible for doing this, and the the funny thing is, or I don't want to say funny, but I think I do just believe this is human nature is that females can't do what we can do. They they are not designed or equipped or they're they're not necessarily um, up to in the same fashion as doing this, as doing the cold approaching, as doing the 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 going up and pursuing the opposite sex initially. I'm talking about the very beginning. Just trying to meet a new person. Um, it's like I said, we're, we're talking about this cold approach stuff today, where you you can just walk up in an in an everyday daylight hours setting, anytime, anywhere, any place, any whatever, and just jump in and just make something happen. Women are not equipped to do that in the same fashion that we are. And there's a couple reasons why I see it that way. And you can agree or disagree with this, you know, whatever, whoever you are out there listening to listening to this right now male or a female but these are the these are the facts as i've come to know them after many years of of observation and and honestly trying and screwing things up and talking to a lot of people about this stuff and seeing women's reactions seeing men's reactions like just I, you know i i challenge any of you that that uh, if you have an opinion in opposition to this, like I, I would say, like go out and do your own research and and uh, try your own things, and and uh, you're free to draw whatever conclusion, conclusion you want. But as I said, just my opinions, like everything that I talk about on my channel here. But number one, the the reason why I think that women cannot do what we do is the the simple fact, like they cannot handle rejection. That might sound mean or that might sound harsh, but do believe they're so much more generally fragile in a sense that they are emotional creatures and that's like why we love them as guys like they're we all have to agree that i think i don't think there's anybody that would would oppose me on that one that that females are so emotional like they that's just the nature of their being and that's that's okay i'm not saying that's a bad thing but because of that that reality you know, a, a person who's very highly emotional in general, and they, they have these ups and downs and hormones and mood swings and all sorts of stuff that go on with, with their bodies and their minds and all this kind of stuff like that, that right there makes it difficult, I think, um, for a lot of women to, to deal with and face rejection. So therefore, like, because of that nature, like, they're just not going to go up and approach men in the same way that, that, that we are, that we can. That's just the fact of the matter right so that's number one and the second thing that comes to mind is i think that there's plenty of 
what I would consider to be like brave females out there in the world that that sure, like they could muster up the strength or the courage, like go approach a man that they might want to talk to. And like, they could do that. Sure. Like all day long. That's, that's probably a few of them out there. I don't think that's the majority of, out, of them out there, but sure. They're, they're out there. They exist, but they might do that. But I guarantee you, like they, they fucking hate that. They hate that they have to do that. Okay. And it's like, it's just, I, I think, in my opinion, it goes against like the very nature of who they are as beings. And they know that deep down, they know that they're, they're the ones that are supposed to be pursued, at least in the beginning by us males. And as I said, it just, it goes against the grain. I I, I won't argue that like they can do it. And like many women do do it, but deep down it bothers them. I guarantee you it bothers them the depths of their heart that they, yeah, you know, let's let's we could chalk this up to a lot of a lot of things. I think the present day, like average everyday man out there is just has just turned into a total softy and doesn't do this stuff and like there's they're just not out there in mass and this these types of things aren't happening in general. And so some women I feel like believe they have to take matters into into their own hands and that's that's fine. But every time they do that, it's like it's just I th- I think deep down like the things that that bother them are that you know just just this reality that like most men don't have the courage to do it like they've got to they've got to step up and kind of be like the masculine role or the or the man role in a sense and go out and do the the initial ice breaking or the pursuing or the cold approaching or whatever and they like I said I hundred percent believe like they might say something different to your face or they might try to try to play it off like like they prefer that or they don't mind it but they fucking hate it deep down in the depths of their soul that's just like i said i think it's just it's going against the grain of who the the nature of of what and who they are as beings and i think that hurts a little bit and understandably so it's just the way the world is i think in this present day and age but Um, you know, and I want to just end off this little discussion here today and talk about, like I said, just, just being thankful that like, if you're a guy listening to this, like be thankful that that's your role, because think about what that means. It's like, you get to do the picking and the selecting and the choosing in the beginning. And that's, that's an immeasurable, immense power. That's awesome to have, but that's like the nature of our existence. I believe like that's, that's, I think the way that mother nature designed us to operate and, you know, for, for whatever reason, I don't know. It's above and beyond my, my mental grasp or my, my expertise, but this is the way the world works. Like this is how it is. I'm sorry if that sounds, sounds brash, but that's, that's the reality as I perceive it. And, you know, I, I want you to think about also too, like you as a man, like you, you are equipped to, to deal with the rejection. I mean, like every single thing that you've done in your life, you've probably experienced some measure of rejection in any number or forms of fashion that it might've come about in whatever situation you've gone through. And I just want to think about, or I want you to think about like just your pursuits of women, like in general, like think about every single woman you've met in your whole entire life up to this point that you had a romantic interest in, right? And think about the number of that that total sum of all those women that actually panned out, right? What is it? One in 10? Maybe less? I mean, th- the majority, unfortunately, I think for most of us guys is like, you've, you've already experienced that rejection. Like, that's just like part of the game. That's part of the process. Like, that's part of just what it is. I mean, and, and you're... I think like mentally, like being the logically minded one on, on this side of the, the spectrum of the sexes that you should be able to use your logic and of course, like hopefully move on and, and realize like the, the abundance that the world holds and all this kind of stuff that I've talked about a few other times on my channel, but you're equipped, like you've already done the rejection. Like you're, you're designed to do that. You're designed to just be almost like, almost like a machine. Like, you know, you're, methodical you're logical okay 
you know, binary code, zeros and ones. Like this often didn't work out, you go on to the next one. That's just like what you do as a man. And I, I can't think of any other way to put it or say it, but these are some facts and realities, as I said, as, as I've experienced this whole, this whole little tango dance of love that we're all doing. And I, I just want you guys, especially today, the men out there to reflect on this and, and think about this. And if you are somebody that struggles with cold approach, like, yeah, we, I want to keep talking about that. I want to, I want to make you guys better at that. I want to equip you to, to be able to be more proficient with that or comfortable with that or, or get a little more bravery like where you haven't had it before in this sense. And like I said, at the end of the day, just, just be thankful that you're on the side of the coin that you're on. Like it's it's not a bad place to be actually when you when you stop and think about it. There's there's a lot of power wrapped up in that if you can just do the hard work, grow some courage, grab your balls when it's necessary, and go in, make something happen. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We'll talk to you soon.